Hello everyone, I have another new knife for you. And this one right here is coming to you from V Knives. And this folder is called the Stout. And so V Knives to me is a relatively new brand. I know it's sold at a lot of dealers as far as I can tell, but this one I did purchase from Knife Center. Um, they've been pushing this brand fairly hard in the last few weeks in all of their promotional emails. And so I subscribed to those and I saw this on sale and uh, decided to just check it out. And so this knife right here is actually fairly impressive, but before I even look at the knife more, I wanted to show off this case because when I was reading the description for this knife, they specifically mentioned this box. It says each knife ships in a V knives plastic case that should be kept and put to another use. It's made from tough water resistant plastic that displays the passion and attention to detail that the V Knives family has for their craft. So that piece of marketing right there sold me on the knife. And so again, I bought this knife. It came, this one was about 25 bucks, came with this really cool plastic box. So I'm just going to show this off. I'm not a big unboxing type of guy, but this is kind of cool. So, I mean, the box clicks open and the lid can then be removed like that. So hard plastic case, which is kind of cool. Inside there, we see a picture of where it's made. So this is a made in China knife. You can see the text. So made in Yanxian, China. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but it has a picture of the guys working in their factory and a message. So I think that's kind of a cool personal touch. So human made is kind of their catchphrase. So it came with that. Um, and very impressive for a $25 knife. It came with a Torx bit that has the two Torx bit sizes you'll need to open the knife if you needed to. And even more impressive, it comes with all these extra screws. So these look like the screws that would either fit on the frame or on the pocket clip. So that's super cool. So for a $25 knife, we get all this extra hardware. We get the plastic case. Um, I think that's a pretty good value alone. And so again, I don't regret buying it. I think the case itself is kind of worth it as a conversation piece. I don't know what else I would use this for, but I think it's a really cool box. So if you're into presentation, if you're into this type of materials, then I think the whole V Knives brand is probably worth a look. Uh, so the knife itself, let's take a look. So this is a small folder, uh, has a two and a half inch blade with about a two inch cutting edge. So it's a small knife, which is nice. Really nice design. Um, it says it was designed by Mike Velikamp. So if you look really small, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but right there on the blade, Mike Velikamp design, and there's the human made logo. Um, this blade is plain edge satin finish. Um, the satin does tend to pick up fingerprints really easily. So you're probably gonna see them in this video even though I tried to wipe it off. Uh, so we have the logo and we have the blade steel 8CR14 MOV. Again, a nice knife. And again, $25 knife. Take a look in the pivot there. We are going to see some bronze washers on both sides. So again, that's a nice feature for a low price knife. Uh, aluminum handles, I opted for this nice green color. They also offer the same knife with black handles. Um, so the green aluminum handles has a rubber insert right here on both sides. And the pocket clip, you'll notice it, it is reversible both ways. And on both sides, it has this aluminum piece where the clip contacts the frame. And I imagine that's going to help you take it in and out of pocket much easier. So that's some thought that went into it right there. So pretty cool. The pocket clip itself, I mean, it's a simple pocket clip, nothing fancy about it. Um, it does protrude a bit from the pocket and it has this kind of awkward V-shaped design. Uh, so they didn't go deep carry. And I don't see how they really could have gone deep carry with this design because we have this huge lanyard hole on the back. And again, um, it just the design doesn't really um play itself well to a deep carry knife so taking another closer look at it look at the pivot 
So you're going to see the pivot also is in the shape of a V. So we have some decorative feature there as well. So a lot of little details in this knife that are pretty darn impressive. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say that. Uh, so looking again at the lock up right here in the middle, you can see the liner lock. Again, decent lockup, nothing really to write home about. And again, no play. It's solid. Um, I love the handle, the choil right here on the blade is nice to choke up on. Has jimping up on the top of the blade. So again, I'm, I'm not finding a lot of little flaws with this knife. I mean, in terms of negatives, um, what I can tell you right off the bat, like I said, the blade does pick up fingerprints really easily and it shows. So even when I get the glare right on the blade, you can see that. Um, but that's just an aesthetic feature. Uh, I will say as well, the rubber inserts are glued in. And so when I first took it out of the box, I just kind of picked at them a little bit. And I was able to easily start peeling it away from the handle. Uh, again, that's not a you know mortal sin there. Imagine if it, if it didn't start to come off, you could probably just put a dab of super glue or something in there and it would stick right back to the frame. Um, but even then, these are minor, minor um, quibbles. It's a small knife, so the weight on the knife, let's check it out. They advertise it at 3.04, and what I'm getting is right about that, 3.05. So that's within the margin of error, I think. So again, three ounce knife, two and a half inch blade, um, so a lot of localities that have a blade length limit, I think this would be a decent option. Um, one of the knives I think of when I'm when I compare this to something else, let me go grab one really quick. So right here we have the CRKT uh, Pilar, and so this was the first one that reminded me of this knife, just because the similar um, size and blade shape. So this one's a limited edition, so they don't all look like this, but overall size there, you can get an idea of how big this knife is. And again, I think it's just a pretty nice value. So I just kind of wanted to share this because at the price you get, now this V-Knives brand, uh, they sell quite a few knives. I mean, it's a brand new brand. And if you go check them out on any of the retailers, they have knives ranging from, you know, the $20 price point, which this one was, um, up until the, up until about the $300 plus dollar price point. So you can get a wide variety of knives. They also have a really cool knife. I was tempted to buy it. I just haven't got it yet. Um, they had one with a nice, really pointy, wicked worn cliff blade. I thought it looked really awesome. It came with, I think, um, a green, uh, FRN handle. Uh, and that one I want to say was around $50. And so again, still affordable and it, just the wicked look of the blade was pretty awesome. But pretty much no matter what your budget is, you're probably going to find something at this brand that is going to fit your style. And again, I'm not affiliated with Knife Center. I'm not affiliated with V Knives. I just like buying knives. I like shopping for knives. When something looks particularly interesting to me, I go ahead and purchase it. And that's why I share things with you guys, so you guys can make an informed purchase. I'm uh, not sure if there's any other videos on the Stout, for instance, but I do know that I think it was Cutlery Lover made a video on even one of the cheaper V knives that's out there. Uh, so I just wanted to share my thoughts, my experiences um, from what I what appears to me to be a very solid knife. So if you have any questions, please do let me know. But other than that, just thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.